So here we're going to talk about the organization overview and as part of this document, as our first document, we're going to introduce some key concepts to documentation markup that are going to follow through on every single document, but we're only going to touch them once. An organizational overview document is a simple document really because it's about you or us if we're working together. So it's an overview in one cohesive place that explains who we are and, and a few key facts about us. These are things that are probably stored in your head and can be pulled from marketing materials or other existing materials if you have them, but it is useful to have them in a document so that you can share that with auditors, third parties, customers, people that are new to your organization to get them up to speed with you quickly and efficiently. It also sets the tone for how we're going to implement the information security management system. It informs the information security management system and it documents that you understand that who you are and what you are has led to the information security management system governance risk and compliance framework that you have. So the organizational overview, every document that we have, you're going to see this time and time again, is we have document version control. Every document is going to have version control on it that has the version, the version number, uh, when it was last modified, who last modified it, and what that document change was. So this is important for making sure that we're always working on the most recent document and that we can understand the changes that have occurred and we can use it to evidence the increase in maturity uh, to our documents over time. At the top of our documents, you will see that we replicate the version number and we have the word internal. That uh, element actually is the document classification. So using our classification system, you are going to have public documents, internal documents or confidential documents. We're going to keep it simple. Uh, but every document that we have is going to be marked up. Uh, these are things that are an easy win for an external auditor when looking at certification or for a customer to pick you up on. You know, the key things they're going to look at here is, are the dates in date? Does it look like it's been modified within the last 12 months? Do we, does it look like it has an understanding of the uh, confidential, uh, confidential markup uh, and the classification markup on it? Every document is also going to have the last review date, which should, should um, be within the last 12 months. And every document is going to have a document owner. Having a document owner gives accountability and responsibility and it also helps us to understand who in the organization to go to if we have questions about anything that the document itself covers. So within the organizational overview, you can see that we're looking at a little bit about us, uh, what our products and services are, what our locations are, what our mission is, if we have a mission statement, what our values are, and what our business objectives are. All of those are going to inform how we implement information security and GRC within our organization. The documents that we have, if you have them in template form, uh, are structured in such a way uh, that they have either guidance or text uh, within brackets and I, I use the red text just to show and uh, draw your attention fast uh, to that area. Um, but again, there's guidance on, on how you can complete that. So for example, with About Us, we're going to do a brief description about ourselves. We consider taking from existing marketing materials. Uh, and again, for experience, the About Us page on websites is usually a good place to look for that. We're going to list out all of our products and services, uh, what it is that we do, uh, and we're going to list them in a way that our customer would know them. So what are the things that our customer would call our products and services rather than potentially internal project names, uh, which may not match up. So this could be an external facing document. We want to articulate what our locations are and we are going to include in there our major data centers. And uh, for example, if we're hosting uh, on websites, uh, it doesn't have to be a physical location, it can be a virtual location. So we're going to state that our data center is in Amazon or is in Azure or is in you know X, Y, and Z. Then we're going to list out what our mission statement is. You can consider removing it if you don't have one. What our business values are. Most businesses will have a set of values. And then the business objective. So what is it that the business is hoping to, to achieve? So examples, you know, it could be growth, it could be market dominance, it could be uh, moving to new sectors, new geographies. But what we want to understand is what is our business trying to achieve? You can frame it for the next 12 months uh, if you were looking at a time frame, because that is going to inform some of the things about how we manage risk and the level of controls that we implement. 
So an organizational overview document, a simple document brings everything together in a cohesive format that we can share with uh, auditors to get them up to speed with us, customer suppliers and whoever it may be.